Can you view website analytics if you're using a Canva website? Whether or not it's freed or paid, does Canva have any analytics options? This was one of many Canva questions that we recently received on our YouTube channel, which by the way, if you like digital communications training for social media or websites, definitely subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. As you know by now, Canva has emerged as a graphics design platform of choice for many users who don't wanna go a more technical route. It's easy to use, it's not that expensive, and it has a ton of capabilities, and they've honestly been adding more and more over the past few years, which is why we've been talking a lot about Canva. We made some Canva pros and cons, Videos, you can find that linked above and below. We've also been answering the occasional Canva question on our YouTube channel, which you can comment below if you have questions and it will be added to a very long queue. Or if you need an answer sooner, definitely become a member in our digital communications training hub, where we have tons of trainings for members in social media, websites, downloadables, courses. And of course you can ask a question at any time and be answered directly by us via video and or email. So we'd love to help you out in that way, but for now we're gonna help you out by talking about can you view Canva website analytics? So Canva offers both free and fairly cheap website options. If you would like to explore those, click some of the links below in the description. But we're talking right now about what kind of analytics can you see behind these websites that we might be hosting for free or for cheap. The reality is right now Canva is lacking in robust analytics features for websites, but there are some features that will help you kind of see where people are coming from and what kind of views you're getting. So in a way, these are more simple analytics that Canva can provide us with. So first we're going to talk about analytics that you can find with in Canva's ecosystem in the insights panel. And then we're going to make our way to expanding analysis of external web analytics tools you can use to analyze your Canva website statistics. So let's look over here on my spouse's website that I created for him in Canva. It is a pretty basic website, but it does what we need to. And it gives a nice landing page for people to see what kind of work he can do for them. We can add more pictures, more reviews easily, and it links them to a place to request an estimate. Great. So I'm on this website. It's already published where you want to navigate to find the insights that are held within the Canva ecosystem is actually this little kind of bar graph up here at the top. So I click on this and now we see three different types of insights I can view from my Canva website. Now this little crown indicates to me that this is probably a pro feature. And so if you have the free version of Canva, you might not be able to see these kind of statistics on your websites. And no, it's not the robust analytics you might be hoping for or looking for in a website but it's decent for the basic and very, very respectable cost that Canva gives us as far as our websites. So we've got the views, which is offering an overview of the total number of times the website has been viewed. So as you can see, this has had 38 visits and 38 page views in the past seven days. And I can change that to, you know, monthly. I can change that to 90 days. I can change that to all time if I want. I can look at the countries that people have been visiting the website from, the types of devices people have been viewing the website from. So these are decent, you know, analytics that we can get all from that uh, little graph at the top. Traffic sources highlights the origins of website visitors such as social media, search engines, or direct referrals. And so you can see when people are coming directly, when they're coming from Google. This might be helpful to know if you have Facebook or Google ads running. It could be helpful to know what other sources are sending people your way so that you can see whether or not your efforts or maybe your mon monetary investment is worth it. Uh, to continue. And then last but not least, we've got engagement, which reflects the interactions, including clicks on links, video views, and scroll activity on the website. And so we're able to see how many people are clicking on the button to request an estimate versus how many people are actually going to Facebook. So that's it as far as internal insights that you can see directly on your Canva website, but there are external web analytics tools that we can look into as well. Now, if you want to expand your analysis beyond the Canva insights that are kind of more basic, you can do so through external web analytics tools. The most prominent one of which that we would recommend is Google Analytics, which can show you unique visitors showcasing the count of individual visitors to your website. It can tell you page views if you have multiple pages going on, indicating total number of times pages have been viewed, the average time someone spends on a page, which is very helpful to understand the duration of time that visitors 
visitors are spending with each set of material, and of course your bounce rate, the percentage of visitors leaving after viewing only one page. We've done some work with Google Analytics, we've done some research with Google Ads, which we did a whole webinar, which is in our digital communications training hub, how nonprofits can get like $10,000 maybe a month towards Google Ads if it's something absolutely wild like that. But if you're into analytics, Google is definitely a good place to go. If you're into social media analytics, we highly recommend later.com. We do have a 14 day free trial affiliate link linked below if you'd like to try it out. Later.com facilitates a lot of social media analytics, but it also so facilitates social media batch scheduling, which is a huge reason that we use later.com. It's just so nice when you can put one video in one spot and send it out to multiple platforms and schedule content days in advance, weeks in advance, so you don't have to be constantly uploading new material and you can just set it and forget it for a little while. So hopefully that gives you some insights into the insights available within Canva websites. And know also that Google Analytics is a great tool to dive more into analytics. Later.com is great for social media analytics. And of course, our digital communications training hub is great if you just have a question or you want to do continued learning about how to make the best content to reach the most people, whether that's on your website or in your social media we talk about it all and of course members have the digi team in their back pocket at any time to ask a question and we would be glad to make a personal video to answer whatever questions may be lingering on your mind that's it for today thanks for watching my name is sammy with digivangelism and i'll see you in the next video